Well, it's not even the third week of February yet, but Texas Tech football back working hard on the gridiron, getting ready for 2012. To start off the week, the Big 12 and Texas Tech released this year's schedule with home games against Texas, Oklahoma, and the conference's newest member, Dana Holgerson's West Virginia Mountaineers, highlighting 2012. The Red Raiders open up the season September 1st, hosting Northwestern State. Conference play, though, will get started on the road in Ames at the end of the month before back-to-back -back home games against OU and West Virginia. Tech hits the pavement for the next two weeks at TCU and K-State before hosting the Longhorns on November 3rd and Kansas on the 10th. And as tradition the past several years, the Red Raiders end the regular season in Dallas against Baylor at Cowboy Stadium. With that, Coach Tuberville and company hit the field on Friday with so many new faces, including first-year defensive coordinator Art Kaufman for the first spring practice. With the year that we had last year, we are kind of ready to get that season over with and get back on the practice field. And our guys are hungry, and that's what you're looking for as a coach. You kind of look at the mood of the team and and you know how they are how are, how are they looking at spring practice? Are they dreading it or are they excited about it? Well, this group's excited. Yeah, there's a lot of guys on the team. If you go back and just look at the team that we had, especially on defense, you have Blake Dees that played last year. Should have been red shirt, but he's a true freshman. He's never been through a spring practice in college. Delvon Simmons, Brandon Jackson, Kendrick uh, Evans, a lot of guys that uh, just, they need more practice time. They need more practice time in terms of technique and fundamentals other than trying to get a game plan in like we did last year. So it'll be a lot more relaxed. Uh, we'll, we will work on fundamentals a lot more. We're so young and at a lot of positions. All the junior college players, you know, they played college football, but it was junior college football, and it was it was just an extension of high school. This is a lot lot more to it, uh, a lot more advanced. Uh, they're more mature, but they've got a lot to learn. So six or seven guys that'll, are, that we're looking forward to seeing what they can do once you put them in a, in a situation of scrimmage and those type of things. But we've got to get better overall. Uh, Seth Daigie, that's the first time he played quarterback in six years last year. And uh, he had a very good year, but he made some mistakes. And uh, uh, we've got a lot of things to do, offense, defense, and special teams, to just get better as a group. And that's what you do in spring practice. You know, the big thing we've got to do on defense is we've got to learn to stop the run. We've got to learn to play uh, the run first. And I know this is a passing league, but if you go back and look at the games that we played last year, uh, we, we had less passes thrown against us because we weren't able to stop first and second down runs. Uh, we gave up over 300 yards against Baylor. And so everything is going to be predicated to, to technique and fundamentals on defense most of spring on using their hands, playing run technique, getting off blocks and making tackles. And then same thing deep offensively. We've got to run the ball better consistently on offense. And I know we had running back issues last year, injuries to most of our running backs, and our production really went down. But but we've got to be able to run the ball to help our defense. Uh, we didn't do that last year. We were struggling on the defensive side of the ball. And even if you're not struggling on defense, you've got to have more time of possession. So stopping the run on defense and running the ball on offense is going to be a big factor for us this spring. I, I look at attitude, you know, the, the, how they approach practice every day. And of course, it's fun for us to practice because we throw the ball a lot. But again, I've, I've already told them, uh, and they understand once we put pads on, which will start Tuesday, it's going to be a lot more physical, a lot more one-on-one -on -one technique, fundamentals, offense, defensive line, linebackers, running backs, blocking, sometimes two backs in the backfield, those kind of things. We, we, we've got to become more of a physical team. Uh, you know, I, I'd like to beat teams by just throwing the ball, but you can't do that. I mean, you've got to have all components. And so we'll do that once we get pads on. Uh, the thing about it, you only get 15. We've got two in. We've got 13 left. Uh, one of those is a spring game. Uh, then we have like, I think, two other scrimmages that we'll have on Saturday mornings. We've got a lot to do in a short period of time. And then once we finish spring practice, we're not going to quit, obviously. We'll, we'll have a lot of uh, uh, mental workouts. We'll have a lot of weight lifting, a lot of running. Uh, the thing I do like about this team, though, in the first two days is we look faster and quicker. 